So in this video, I'm going to talk about some general stuff about becoming a freelance web designer. And uh, I'm going to focus on mainly this 99designs.com website, which is a very great, if not the greatest platform to actually work as a freelance web designer and enter into projects and contests. So to actually work on 99designs, you have to register, obviously. And after you have done that and uh, logged into your account, you can go to these contests, for example, and uh, browse contests. I'm going to show you what you should look at if you are browsing among the contests. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to filter the contests and I'm going to go for the least entries first because I don't want to race in a very highly populated contest. So I, I want the best chance for me to win an actual contest. And the second thing that you have to look out is the contest holder. Now, for example, if I click on this contest holder, it's going to tell me that uh, uh, the contest holder had three contests. And, uh, well, actually, one was completed and uh, he paid for it, which is uh, really important because uh, sometimes it can happen that the contest holder holds a contest and then when uh, the contest uh, finished, they decide to uh, not pay because they say that none of the actual designs were good enough for them. But most of the times what's really happening is they like a design, but they don't want to pay that amount of money for it. So they're going to end the design and they take the inspiration they get from the designer and uh, do it uh, on their own or with other people who uh, don't want that amount of money for that work. So it can happen, but most of the times uh, this site is legit and uh, you can uh, work on this site without any hesitation. But you have to look out for this uh, kind of scenario that it can happen. So uh, this is a preemptive thing or method or process that you can do to make sure that you will get paid if you, if you do a good job. So this is a very important part to look out for. Now the second is... Uh, Always read the description. So, for example, if I click on this contest, uh, I can go for brief. And uh, here's the description. Now, if you are working on a, on a web design contest or a project, then uh, you have to look at the price of the contest. And uh, if they ask for, for example, five pages, that's a lot. But uh, for enough money, it, it can be... Uh, it, it can worth. So like if they pay you, for example, uh, more than a thousand dollars for five pages, then you should go for it because that's a very great hourly wage. So I'm going to go back and see if there is a contest like that. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, web and app design and see, yeah, here is a, here is a contest that pays quite a good amount of money. And uh, let's see what it says. So they need an app uh, designed. They need a, a home page. They need listings and listing forms, which is uh, quite some work, but I think uh, it's still manageable and, and it's, it will still worth the thousand bucks for your work. And let's see others. For example, uh, let's let's see this uh, 700 one. And as you can see, there are already two designers who have submitted uh, their work, but they haven't got any ratings. And that's very important that when you enter a contest, and if the contest already has about uh, one or two very highly rated uh, designs, then you should think about entering because uh, you are already an underdog since you have... Uh, uh, one or more uh, very great designs. So you have to work really, really hard and very creatively to get a good rating. So that's very important as well. So as you can see, they don't have any ratings. So let's see the brief. They need the web app for a simple insurance register. They need a landing page, a details page. And uh, that's it. Uh, well, I think uh, as a web app uh, designer, this is this is quite a this is quite a good contest to be honest 
because it pays $700 for two pages, which is not much. And I think uh, if I would be a web app designer, I would totally go for this. So like, this is one of the best course, uh, best uh, contests. But there are uh, other big contests as well. So like really big ones, more than $2,000, stuff like that, but I can't see them. Let's see highest price, price first. Yeah, as you can see, these are gold package uh, ones. They pay, they pay very good. And there are some platinums as well, sometimes, uh, which you cannot enter until you are an experienced designer. And the site approves that you are a really good designer. After you have read the description and read it uh, very carefully, because uh, you don't want to waste your time doing something that turns out to be a really, really bad uh, method or thing that the contest or don't like or something like that. For example, colors. You have to always pick the colors they tell you to pick. Well, most of the times they uh, will say that, for example, I like blue and uh, yellow, but you can try at some new things. But most of the times you want to go for blue and yellow. So because they said that and they liked it, and that's a bigger chance to succeed if you pick what they want because that's why you are here to create something they want and after you have submitted your design you can submit your design by clicking on this uh, uh, button here you have to always monitor other submissions so like other designs if you can uh, see their designs for for example in this uh, design you can't because uh, as you can see this is a, a blind uh, contest that means that you cannot uh, check their design, which is cool because they are not going to copy you and they are not going to get any inspiration from your work, but neither will you. So it's a two-sided sword. Uh, I would say uh, it's a very good method to get a higher rating by checking other um, designs, but if you can't, then there you go. After that, while you are submitting, you can, uh, I'm going to show you, while you are submitting, you can provide the short description or a short uh, comment. And uh, you always want to ask for a feedback because that means that you are a serious competitor and the contest holder will uh, look at you as a serious uh, and a very important part of this contest. So you always want to do that. The other thing is uh, if you have the time and uh, if it's not a really, really big design contest, then you should go for multiple submits, so multiple designs. So you, for example, create a design with a, an element in it, and then uh, you create a design without that element, for example, because, uh, you know, some people may like it, some people may don't. So that's a good method to actually win a contest. And uh, what else? Yeah, the mock-up that we have used previously. It's a very great way to present a design or a product, for example, if you are creating a packaging design or something, you are always want to go for a mock-up um, design because that way the contest holder will uh, see how the product is gonna look like in real life. So that's very important as well. And uh, you always want to check the revisions. So if they check your design and rate it, you always want to be there as soon as possible and as soon as they review your design, because then you can work on your design and uh, fix issues and fix uh, some uh, designing elements uh, as soon as you can. So it's uh, very important as well. The, the last thing is getting rejected. That is, if you don't win, you don't have to go and cry in the corner, because that's not the end of the world. Most of the times you won't win. That is because a lot of designers are on this uh, page and are not only in this page. There are a lot of freelance designers in the world. So you will win most of the times about 10 or maybe maybe 20% of your contests. And uh, that's, that's a good amount of uh, contests to win, I think. Because, for example, I've created my design in, a while, in, in an hour. So if you do the math, if I create 10 uh, uh, contests, uh, 10 designs, sorry, in 10 hours and I get paid about $250, it's still a very good hourly wage. Because, you know, 
I get 25 bucks for an hour of work, uh, working home. So that's still still very good. But uh, you don't have to do little uh, jobs. So you don't have to do 150 or 200 and 250 dollar jobs. You can do bigger ones that I've shown you before, like the the one and a half thousand dollars ones. If you are very good at what you are doing, so uh, you always have to know what to pick, which contest to pick. So. And you have to practice because without practice, you are not gonna win anything, to be honest. So, yeah. So, I would say this is the end of this uh, lecture because I don't have anything else to say right now. But if I remember anything uh, I should have said, then I'm gonna create another video and talk about that in the future. But for now, I would like to say thanks for taking this course, thanks for watching this lecture, and I hope that you have learned something new. If not, at least you have practiced something. So yeah, thank you very much again and see you in the discussion forums.